In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a page with a weather forecast. Let's open the pages pane. As you can see, we don't have any pages yet. I'm going to add a blank page. Let's call that weather. Click on it, choose edit, and I'll be taken to the designer. And I'm going to add a weather app to this page. You can resize it to any size you like, like so. I'll leave it at this size. And down here in the weather properties, I can select the location for which I want to see the weather forecast. Let's say San Francisco. And as you can see, as I start typing, it will pop up a menu with all uh, uh, places in the world that have this uh, these letters in their name and luckily the San Francisco I wanted is on top San Francisco California and what I need to do is I have to click that one select that one to have the correct location uh, I want to change that unit here to Fahrenheit uh, and I can press the refresh button right here to load the current weather forecast for the next couple of hours Sometimes you have to click the reload button once or twice. It can take a few seconds for the weather forecast to load. So that's why. Um, I can also switch to a more long-term forecast, a daily forecast. And if I refresh that, this is the daily forecast for San Francisco. Cool. Now this looks still a bit dull, so I want to add a background image. Uh, I've uploaded one previously. Select that one. There we go, that's nice. Make it a little bit bigger. And as you can see, it just sits in front of the weather forecast app right now. What I want to do is move that to the back. There we go, that looks better. And last but not least, I want to add some text so that my audience knows what they're looking at. Oop, that's black. Change that to white. And say, forecast for San Francisco. Mm, I'm going to change the font a bit. There we go. And make it somewhat bigger. Okay. Well, I like it that way. So I can save it and go back to the dashboard. And last but not least, I can add it to my playlist right here and preview that, see if it works. And there you go, the forecast for the next couple of days in San Francisco. And it will automatically update uh, for uh, when you move on to the next day, obviously. That's it. I hope that was clear. Um, if you have any questions, just let us know via email or check our website. Thank you very much.